everyone. Welcome to Wacky Wednesday. My name is Ms. Teresa and I'm a children's librarian with Durham County Library. And today we are going to be learning about creative writing with fractured fairy tales. This video is brought to you by Durham County Library. What is a fractured fairy tale? A fractured fairy tale is a story or poem based on an old story or fairy tale and it's told in today's time. There's usually a twist with fractured fairy tales. That twist might be the story is told from a different character's point of view. For example, maybe instead of Cinderella's point of view, we get the fairy godmother's point of view. Fractured fairy tales are also when characters might be different somehow. An example of this is from the book Ninja Red Riding Hood instead of Little Red Riding Hood. A fractured fairy tale relies on the original story, but it only uses pieces of the original story. Do you need some ideas to write your own fractured fairy tale? Here are some fairy tale examples you might think of using for your own story or rhyme. Cinderella, tell the ugly stepsister's story. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, tell one of the Seven Dwarves stories. Dot, grumpy, happy, sleepy, bashful, or dopey. Or Little Red Riding Hood, tell the wolf's story. All stories have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And for this writing challenge, you should write two lines for each part of the story. So you would have six lines total. Your fairy tale can be considered a poem, a rhyme, or a micro story, a teeny tiny story. So after you've chosen which fairy tale to fracture, you will want to do the following. One, choose one or two characters for your mini story or rhyme. You can't have too many characters in six lines, so it's important to just focus on one or two. Two, choose one part of the original fairy tale to focus on instead of the whole fairy tale. For example, when the prince finds Cinderella's slipper or flip-flop. Three, Choose a problem in the part of the fairy tale you have chosen to write about. For example, the prince does not know who Cinderella's slipper or flip-flop belongs to. The problem can be the same as in the original fairy tale. Four, and last, choose a way to solve the problem. For example, the prince goes to the beach to find the owner of the missing slipper or flip-flop. Here's an example of a rhyme I wrote for my fractured fairy tale. Keep in mind, I use six lines total. Rella's Flip-Flop, a fractured fairy tale based on Cinderella by Teresa, that's me. After the beach party, the prince held Rella's flip-flop to his heart. He could hear himself calling for her to stop. As she ran up the stairs and into the night, the prince watched his mystery girl fade into the moonlight. He swore he'd roam the beach both near and far to find his one true love, his wish upon a star. I chose to make my fractured fairy tale a rhyme or a poem, but yours doesn't have to rhyme. Now it's almost time for you to write. Remember, for this challenge, keep it short. Write two sentences or lines for the beginning two sentences or lines for the middle, and two sentences or lines for the end. That's six sentences or lines in total. Want to share your story? We'd love to read what you've written or to hear you read it. You can submit what you've written. Email your story, rhyme, or poem to tpetro at dconc.gov. You can do a video recording of yourself reading it aloud do a voice recording, type it up and send it to us, or take a picture of the handwritten fairy tale. We can't wait to see what you've come up with. Maybe you'd like to read some fractured fairy tales. You can check out fractured fairy tale books from the library. Go to http colon backslash dcl dot li backslash fractured, and it will take you to a list of fractured fairy tales and you can request the books that look good to you. Thank you for tuning in. 